we are going to learn about the android development first of all for uh, learning android development we have to install the android studio in that we will run our apps that we will create in our future uh, this is the interface of the android uh, studio uh, uh, okay so here this one is the first page in which you have, you have to create your activity so for that we will select empty activity always select empty activity because of if you select this uh, basic activities as well there will be lots of errors so that uh, initially uh, you will not be able to uh, handle that errors so select empty activity only so it will uh, next and then type the name of your project so here we will uh, write demo because this one is a demo class so we will write that demo and then click on finish so this one is the features of the Android Studio. They will suggest about the hints and uh, features that you are going to implement and that uh, new things that is uh, adding in Android Studio. So now our project is building. Here it is showing that Cada build is done. So it takes some time. Okay, now our project is ready. If anyone having any kind of doubt, let me know, please. Okay, this one is the file structure of our app in which there are the manifest uh, folder is there in that there is one android manifest.xml here we have mainly two files one is the xml file and another one is the java file okay the xml file is the layout of our app means whatever uh, we can see on our app like buttons navigations bars and other images all these are created uh, in xml only xml is like the uh, uh, if uh, there is a one like there is one coffee order app where you can uh, click on the plus one plus two means how many coffee you want to order so plus buttons is the layout and where on clicking on that button like uh, you are adding or you're subtracting amount of the coffee you want coffee you want that would be the handle by the java file means whatever the function you want to perform by clicking on that button by uh, whatever the function you want to perform that would be handled by the java and the button that you are going to create for the coffee ordering app is handled by the XML file. It's basically like what uh, basically like the front end and the back end. Uh, uh, if you know about the web development, but if you don't know about the uh, web development, means whatever you are going to see on your app is XML. But whatever you are going to perform on that app after uh, performing some functions like on click functions that would be handled by the java okay students okay. yeah okay so this is the breakdown of our app in which uh, so many uh, uh, so many files are there but you don't have to worry about anything because we are going to deal with only two files mainly now in this bootcamp uh, in inside the java there is one com.example.demo. There is one main activity. Uh, means if our uh, app is multi-screen app, then we will create uh, uh, fragments in this uh, where we can uh, we can redirect from one uh, screen to the another screen. But if you want to create only single page application, then there is only need of only one activity that is main activity. And here th there is some other files. <coughs> And here, in there is a, a drawable file inside. If you want to uh, keep in your Android, that would be in a drawable file. And here, 
layout which is activity dot uh, uh, xml this one is the activity main dot xml file in that you will create the design and the layout of our app layout of our app and here i see launcher and i see a uh, uh, launcher around these are the some other files and here colors dot xml file is there uh, inside that so many colors uh, different types of the shades are available for uh, creating your app more beautiful and one is the strings uh, dot xml file here the, why is the string dot xml file is there because uh, our app if we created our app in english but you want that uh, your app should be uh, run in another languages like marathi hindi and all then you will uh, what will you create you will add whatever the text is present in your app you uh, will directly add that into the string dot xml means whenever the uh, whenever we want to change that text into the another language we can easily change by using just changing string dot strings dot xml we don't need to uh, go from we don't, don't need to change the text from everywhere you will just go to the string dot xml and we will change all the text from that only to the another language okay uh, Okay, students. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. If anyone having any kind of queries, just let me know. Don't be hesitate. Okay. Ask me. <coughs> okay. Then we will move further on our activity main dot xml. So here are. Uh, three types of interface for the creating our activity which is uh, designing of our app one is the code this one is the code of our xml uh, do you guys know about the web development have you done web development before because the code of xml is quite similar to the html css only that's why i'm asking no ma'am Okay, fine. Okay, no problem. So here is the code. Means, uh, by writing code, you can design your app uh, layout. But <clears throat> if you don't want that, you should write code. Then there is one another option that is design. Means you can uh, design by using the drag and drop. I will show how. it is now our first step is running that is hello world hello world only hello world our first step is hello world app we will run that in few moments you want to code that then you can use the drag and drop method means if if you want that you can drag and drop here here it will be shown to this but at the same time the code of this will be also reflected here like uh, i selected text view so this code is automatically there in uh, xml just uh, there are the two options you can uh, code uh, this one or you can uh, drag and drop this one as well okay or a time we will delete this one <coughs> and there is another option that is split split means uh, you can uh, see the code as well as well as the designing as well as well as design and this one is a blueprint of your uh, des uh, app designing uh, now we will uh, run our first app that is the hello world app inside that we need one plain text we'll just drag this and we'll drop in this constraint layout okay here here we can see that there is a one edit text person is there and here in this there uh, can you see the attributes here here are the attributes of the components that you selected okay attributes now the attributes of uh, first attribute is text means what you want to uh, print uh, inside that plain text what is the text now the text is name just we will change that to the hello world now the text is hello world okay if you want to align this text uh, in center you can uh, you can do this like a constraint 
this one is also working so now we need to run our app on uh, something like uh, uh, android uh, development or and uh, like uh, on the operating system of android you can connect your mobile as well by using usb by uh, doing the development but if you don't want to run, if you have a good RAM, like 8 GB RAM and more than 8 GB RAM in your laptop, then you can use the AVD manager here. It is AVD manager, which is Android virtual device in which you can run your app. So now we have the Android uh, uh, virtual devices, but if you don't have, then you can create your virtual devices, whatever the device you want with their uh, height and length. A height where the, you can create your virtual device here we can create our virtual device and we can run our app so this one is the play button in which by clicking on that uh, our app will run in avd avd is the android uh, virtual device so our app is running now Can you see that our hello world is printed? Okay. Yeah. Now we will move toward the layout. Means we have uh, a layout uh, in our Android uh, that a linear layout and then a linear layout and relative layout as well and table layout. Linear layout is like everything will print one by one. I will show you. Just drag this and drop this in this. We will delete this edit text now. So inside the linear layout, you can uh, uh, you can add your constraint or uh, you can add your, add your content and that will show one by one. Uh, it Now the linear layout has orientation horizontal, but if you want the thing should uh, be there in your app vertically or horizontally, you can change the orientation as well. If you choose the vertical, then it will show one by one step by step. And if you select as a horizontal, then it will show uh, column wise. Okay. Now we will select vertical orientation. And uh, inside that uh, we will add buttons. Okay. Uh, you you can select this one, drag this one, and drop in this linear layout. Can you see how the uh, buttons are arranging after one one by one? Now, if you do the orientation horizontal, then now what is the issue? Only one one button is uh, visible. Why the others are not visible? Can you, anyone tell me? What is the problem actually? Only one button is visible if we do the orientation horizontal. Others are not visible. Anyone? Is it overriding? Okay. Now the issue is what? It is overlapping on each other because it's layout width. Here we can see all the attributes, okay? What are the attributes? Like what is width, what is height, what is ID, what is text inside that? Everything is shown in attributes. You can search here as well. What is the width? Now, see, the layout width is equal to the match parent. 
means whatever is the parent of that button the width will be same as like that but if we do the wrap content then it will take the width of only the contents present into that uh, uh, component like if the button the it will take only that width in which the content is fit okay we can do the same for the others as well wrap content wrap content okay now is it visible yeah it is visible right now we can see all the three all the four buttons hello i'm audible okay then why are you guys not responding just say yes or no okay <clears throat> we will move further like we have the text means uh, what uh, means if you want to write the plain text or if you want to write password email phone number these types of the view are present okay and if you want to buttons buttons are different types like uh, chips are there uh, then checkbox are there radio groups are there radio buttons are there switches also there these types of the components are present to the app, uh, app now we can see that there are so many uh, app in which these types of the contents are there uh, where are different different buttons are there radio buttons radio group buttons are there okay now we have another kind of layout that is the relative layout okay now that what is the relative layout <clears throat> i will show you that but uh, for that we have to go because no drag and drop option is there for the relative layout i will show you that by using code okay so first of all from this we will delete this one and write relative layout Uh, android app uh, android studio is very smart they will suggest you you don't have to write all the things then inside the relative layout we want to create four buttons okay uh, that width will be the wrap content and height will be the wrap content only if you write the height and width match parent then it will occupy all the space so uh, you can write the wrap content height and width so that it will uh, take only height and width equals to the content that is present into the button plain text all the views present into the uh, your app okay then we will give some text in one <laughs> Then we will copy paste all the key buttons. We will give uh, each uh, every view like text view, edit view, button has its own ID. Means ID that uniquely define that one. So for that we have to give the ID. We will give this bit BPN one. word of the btn2 and the btn right side of the our parent so in that case we cannot use
here now our uh, all the buttons are overlapping as usual now we need to create something like that so that everything must be at its position now we will create one btn app here and another btn app will be here and another uh, app uh, another our button will be here okay so that we need to write here one attribute like parent layout align parent okay here you can see that lots of options are there layer here is a layout align parent bottom means that we we want that button at the bottom of our parent okay and now we want that another button at the right side uh, at the bottom right uh, right side of this parent so here is the layout align parent left means the left of the parent and layout parent end means the right of the parent here is the right of the parent but this one is the bottom layout align parent right and this one is the layout align parent left and this one is the layout align parent end according to you can you can change this one but it has the height equals to the match parent so we have to change this one to the wrap content height is the wrap content only okay so that uh, we can see now it is present at the left most of the parent uh, and it is present as the right most of the parent you can give the constraint like this only if you don't know the attributes then you can just align this using this uh, constraints arrow okay and this one is the relative layout understood students any doubt no okay shall we move further Okay. Now we will <clears throat> we will see the functionalities of our. Now we can see the functionalities of our app, which is present into the Java file. Okay. See, this is the main uh, main component of the Java. In that there are the packages. Uh, we also we know that the java has lots of packages in that the code is already built in so we don't need to write that code we can just import that into the our java file and we can use that okay now we will create one counter uh, on which you uh, on clicking on that the value will be changed okay so that you will uh, learn the things uh, properly because by using the project by creating the project only you can learn the things Uh, just the theory doesn't matter at all so now for that we need one text where you can uh, uh, you can display your result means after the uh, by clicking on count button the count must be changed like it can be the incremented or it can be the decremented okay so that we will take one plain text or editable text here you can do this one as well and you can drag and drop as well uh and we will just align we will do the some alignment here okay and we will change the text to zero okay now we want one button we will take one button here and we can take this one initially you will feel some difficulty by uh, for doing this one because this need practice so that you can do this from here as well 
like i like i said that layout align parent end this is used to do the relative layout align parent bottom means it will uh, take that to the parent end and now i give the margin bottom means uh, this i i have done that by using the constant arrows but you can do that manually as well by writing the margin bottom uh, padding bottom and then uh, others are also there uh, do you guys know about the margin and padding Yeah. Do you know about margin and padding? Yes or no, student? No. Okay. So first of all, I will tell what is the margin and padding. So just go to the. Uh, for some time we will delete this one i will show you what is the margin and what is the padding okay now we will take one button okay inside that we will take one button okay this button is present here at the left of our parent okay now but we want that button should be here uh, a button should be in center so how uh, you can do that you can do the uh, manually like if we type gravity 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 is equal to center then also it's come here inside uh, in center uh, apparent center but you don't know what is the gravity as well then you can manually do that by using the margin and padding okay we will go to the code and then write here margin there are four options margin bottom margin top margin left margin right okay so i will show you one by one margin left and dp here are the units of means margin left is like from left what how many space you want okay dp is a unit of counting that space dp and sp are two units uh, we usually use in android development but uh, that is uh, for counting the space that you want okay and sp is used for the uh, text and the form font size no. what, the, what is the font size of our text then we use the sp but you can use the dp as well no doubt now margin i will split this one so that you can see margin right okay margin right 30 dp will give margin right 30 dp let me do the gravity none so that you can see the result very clearly See, now we have margin top is equal to the 88 dp. If we do the margin top 40 dp, then you can see that there is some changes. This height is the 40 dp. Okay. If you want the margin top 20 dp, then this one is the 20 dp now. It's showing the 20, right? This one is the margin means after we are around arounding that one, what how much space you want this is a margin left margin top margin right and there another one is a margin bottom now we give the margin top the, uh, that's why the margin left is not uh, margin bottom is not reflecting but what the space you want arounding that component is the margin and the next one is the padding 
we'll take another one button uh, you can do this in this as well not an issue here we'll take margin uh, we took the margin now we will take the padding okay padding here also four components are there padding left padding right padding top padding bottom means how much space you want inside that button what is the margin margin is how much space you want around that uh, component and what is the space what what amount of space you want inside that button inside that component okay now we will give padding top padding top 20 dp can you see now the can you see the size of the button is changed or increases now we'll give the padding bottom Adding bottom 20 dp. See now it's uh, see it's the space is added 20 dp from top and the 20 dp from bottom. Now we'll do like the left and right as well. Adding. Padding left, padding left 10, 20 dp. And padding right. But dp. Okay, can you see the changes now? students can you see the changes now how the margin and padding is added to the button understood yes or no okay yes sir now we will move toward our project first project that is counter app for that we need one text plain text here we will add one plain text and so we will create one new project we will do that by coding now for this, we don't need a linear a relative layout. We need the linear layout. First, we want one edit text. is not shown. Ma'am, the linear layout is closed using the slash backslash. You have to remove the backslash first. Yeah. And then close it below. Yeah, linear. I should write linear layout. Then. No, ma'am. On next line, remove the backslash and then on next line, remove the backslash now. And on the next line, write uh, the less than greater than bracket and in that backslash linear layout. Oh, okay. After removing this backslash. Yeah. Ma'am, this uh, backslash, you'll have to remove that first, which is on line 12. Backslash. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Remove and then on next line, next line, next line. Yes, less than uh, the uh, operator backslash and linear layout. Okay. Oh, still, we are getting error.
let it be we'll do this from designer okay now it's fine are you seeing uh, you are seeing like this now yes ma'am okay yeah my god okay let's let's go to the button the button we will take one button here yeah here the orientation is horizontal we have to change the orientation to the we have to change our orientation to vertical okay now it has the height and width equals to the match parent height is equals to the match parent no we don't have the height Just uh, we added the layout to width. Wait. So here we added our. Uh, now we will change the text equals to zero. And button name equals to counter. And here we will change the ID as well. Counter well. Counter. Okay. And we will just uh, do text in center. Now tell me how to uh, align it to the center. i will show you by running this app and we want that the text must be in at center position how to do that see can you see the zero is present at the left most position but we want the zero should present here inside uh, center at the center position how to do that Can anyone tell me? Using gravity or layout without command. Sorry, you are not audible properly. Using gravity option, like gravity equal to center. Yeah. Okay, like layout below using the idea. The idea. Yeah, yeah. You can do that as well. Now we can do gravity center. C. gravity center so now the text is at its center position now our main task is add the functionality to the counter here <clears throat> if we click on counter nothing is hap nothing is happening there is no functionality added to the counter so the main function is that after clicking on counter this should change to 0 to 1 and then 2 then 3 like this we want that so for that we need to add the functionality <clears throat> okay first of all we have to take all the uh, views which are present into the into our uh, layout means first we have one edit text layout uh, view another one is a button view okay so edit, how to uh, get that one uh, using uh, we can take that by their name as well like this edit edit text will give some name like the java we have the integers uh, we create the variables like integer a is equals to the someone some, something something 10 20 like that we will <clears throat> edit text is something like the data type only means here we will uh, take the edit text and we will create one variable count we'll take a text only is equals to we need to do the type casting edit text and then 
we need to uh, how will how will we access that edit text means whatever is present inside whatever is present inside the uh, inside edit text how we can access that with by using their id because id is something like the uh, uniquely identify for the each view present into our app so we will take that using the id for that we have one function in our uh, android or in our uh, android id okay find view by c uh, android developer android studio is suggesting us what we want to write just we need some initials for the any functions then find view by id and we are it is suggesting that one attribute is present inside the find view by id so that can be accessed by r dot id dot what is the value of our edit text what is the id of our that is counter okay counter here it will suggest counter val okay so now uh, you are getting the question right what is r r is the uh, one package or class see it is uh, showing that public final class which is presented into the our java already it is a class in that all the ids of our views which is present into the our layout of our android app that is uh, all the ids are present into that packages so for that we need to if we want that uh, means how you can access the properties of our class when you create the object like r dot something properties is present at display yeah right now uh, you know the syntax of the object uh, how to create the class how to access the properties of class now you guys know about that by using dot operator we access the properties of any uh, class na yes or no okay so by using dot operator we access the properties of the class and all the classes are present into the uh, java already we are just getting the properties okay so from that we get the ids of our uh, ids of our views okay and another view is button view see now you can see that one file is imported in our java that is edit text okay this one is the uh, class present into the our java so then we need uh, when we do uh, now uh, we are uh, creating one another uh, view that is the button so after writing that button automatically that file will added here you can see that button count <clears throat> one package is, is imported in our file button counter is equals to button find view by id what is the id of our button counter r dot id dot counter okay now we have the access of all the uh, views present into the layout by using the id now the thing is we add we want to add functionalities on the counter button okay for that we access that using the counter now we have to add something on which you we, you can listen what the button is saying for that we need to add one function said on click listener okay inside that you need to write new 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 view okay. this one is new view dot what is this on click listen 
So we uh, so we don't need to remember all the syntax as well. You can just search on click listener in Android. There is the documentation. Android Studio's official documentation. Here you can see that. What is the actual syntax as well? This is official documentation of Android. Yeah, you can see all the contents are present. Okay. So we have to write new view on click listener. And here we can access or uh, we can add the functionalities to that uh, button, which is uh, we already created in our design. So what we want that on clicking uh, on that button, the counter means uh, the text present inside the edit text must be increased. Okay. So for that, we need to create one variable. Num. We'll create num in num. Num is equals to integer integer dot parse in what is the name of our edit text 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 dot set a uh, get text get text i will explain what i'm writing actually and to string <clears throat> okay now we got what is present into that uh, edit text means we have now zero okay so here text dot get text function used to get the text which is present into the edit text and here we get that into the some uh, coded form 
we want that into the string so that we convert that into the to string but only uh, we want the integer na so that should be converted into the integer so that we are using one function pass int pass int function convert the st uh, string into the integer and then we are storing it in function that is num now num plus plus means after clicking on that function we want that the value of num plus plus should increase and that should be there in the text that is edit text so we have to set that text as well then text dot set text function is there setter and getter functions are already present into the java text uh, get text is used to get the text what is present into the edit text and set text is used to set the text into the edit text view okay. now now let's check our app or not okay so app is crashing Not okay. Okay, uh, you guys take break of 15 minutes. I will check what issue. Okay, is it okay? Okay. Yeah.
see after clicking on counter it's becoming one but after that our app is crashing anyone knows about that what's the issue actually okay let it be i will tell you after some time now we will move uh, further with our second project that is calculator okay is it okay okay ma'am yeah now this one is our second app that is calculator i will run this app first see here we uh, we can add our numbers okay and then we can perform our operation whatever we want okay so here result will display we can do the subtraction we can do the multiplication we can do the division as well uh, okay it is giving the 30 divided by 40 is equals to 0 because both are the integers value and 30 divided by 40 will be something 0 point something something but uh, it uh, because the data type of that uh, division is uh, integer that's why it's giving the integer value we will correct this one to the float so that we will give the exact value is it okay we will change we will do the changes in that uh students is it okay yes ma'am Yeah. Okay. Now we'll uh, see what is our layout of the app. First of all, one edit text is there. Which one? This this one is this, and another one is the edit text for the second number. And here we are giving hint is equals to enter first number, and here we are giving hint is equals to enter second number, and then. our layout is uh, width is match parent and height is wrapped content and here we gave the mar margin top is equals to the 15 dp and here also we give the margin top is equals to the 15 dp okay then we took the one linear layout inside that the orientation is horizontal okay so that we can uh, take the two buttons in one row okay uh, one we are taking that uh, linear layout here one linear layout for the taking rows but inside for, uh, inside one row there are two columns so that we need to take the one another layout linear layout here we are taking another linear layout here inside that orientation or orientation its orientation is horizontal so that it can be side by side of each other okay you understood the hierarchy how the hierarchy is going on i will show that into the design as well see here is the main linear layout and inside that one another linear layout this one uh, i will just zoom it okay this one this one is the another linear layout inside the linear layout the orientation is horizontal whatever is present into that linear layout is uh, comes one by one side by side to each other and inside the linear layout which having the orientation vertical we took two linear layout whose having orientation horizontal okay understood understood how to create that type of the hierarchy yes ma'am understood yeah okay okay now how to give the background color now i gave the linear layout background color here are the attributes like if you search the background color here <clears throat> we can see that background color option comes here 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 is a drawable images are there and the color you can choose color from here now our color is already we can choose the teal as well okay this types you can change the colors white as well this one this one you can uh, uh, browse as well so that you can get more more uh, 
Entonces. Here we can search as well. Like this. Now we have four buttons present inside that uh, linear layout having the orientation horizontal. First two buttons in one linear layout and second two buttons in another linear layout. Now our functionality, functionality parts must be there. Here there are two edit text, num1 and num2. We take the variables uh, num1 and num2. There are the uh, two <clears throat> variables having edit text. Okay. First one is for the entering first number and second one is for the entering second number because for the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we need two numbers, right? So that we have two edit text view inside that. And we are accessing that using the find view by ID functions and by using their IDs. Okay. And we have four buttons. One is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These are variables, okay? Uh, whatever add subtract multiplication division given here after the buttons is equal button add these are the variables which is storing the value of our button view which having id is equals to add understood what i said students don't get confused between the value of id and value of variable okay and but uh, the good practices you should have the same name so that if there is any confusion what is the id name what is the variable name then there will be the no effect you can write the same one only okay. always take the name of id name and the variable name same as that id name only now we have the four buttons we took the four buttons ids inside the variables so that we can add the functionality so that we can add the set on click listener on that buttons okay <clears throat> and we have one text view as well where we will display our result okay and we are also taking that the in inside the variable result now we have to add on click listener on that buttons First one is the add. Add is the variable. Add is a variable where we uh, access the ID of button. Okay. On that we have the that. having integer data type because whatever the uh, uh, user going to you know, enter in inside the edit text one that is num1 that that uh, that would be the uh, num integer and the other uh, both the values must be integer or it will be the integer and result is also integer so that we took three values I us is pass int. The pass int will convert the string into the integer. So here first function that we are going to call is num one dot get text which will uh, get the text from the edit text uh, whatever the user give the input and then we are converting it into the to string means we are converting it into the string and then after creating that into the string we are con converting it into the integer so that we can perform the operations like addition multiplication division because we can perform on that only like this we are converting the second number in uh, entered by the user and here we are performing one operation that is f plus s and uh, whatever the addition subtraction multiplication we, we want but this one is the add button then we will perform addition on that and then result 
now we want the result should be display on our uh, app then we will do like a uh, set text means we are uh, calling one function that is set text on the result result is what result is a variable which is storing the text view of our id result okay and one thing you must remember that if only uh, if you if you want to only display result dot set text set text a means you only want to display the uh, variable but uh, but it will not run it will crash the your app you have to add some space here and then plus button then only your app will run otherwise you will your app will crash okay just remember this one and similarly we are adding set on click listener on uh, uh, subtractions and then we are adding on multiplication and then we are adding and adding on division but now what is the issue is uh, we are getting the division uh, if we are not getting the division having the decimal value like 0 point something 5 2 3 it's getting the value 0 because both are integers f is also integers and s is also integers and a is also integer if we do that float means float a then it will give you correct result let me show you so enter 30 now 40 and division see we are getting the things 0, 0.0 we are getting the values but not exact value Now check for the different another ones. Okay. We are not getting for the decimal value. Again, zero point zero only. Can you guys tell me what's the issue? Why we are not getting exact answer? Anyone? Okay. Instead of that, if we do the modulus, then we will get the answer. Just, just give me a second, or two.
that. Sorry for the interrupt, student. Now we will move further. So what you are going to do uh, in your internship is like uh, you have to create some projects. Uh, we will give some topics on which you have to create the projects. After that, uh, something is like now we learn about layouts and the user inputs. We took the user inputs for the calculator and we learn about the layouts as well. What are the relative layouts? What are the linear layouts? Now the uh, things that you are going to develop is like you have to create the multiple screens and uh, after that uh, you have to add if you are able to add the networking in that networking in sense uh, is like API do you know the API what is the API students do you guys know about API Uh, API okay. API is something like the application programming interface. Uh, in that you can access the data. Like uh, nowadays the COVID is turning on, and the cases of the uh, COVID is also uh, increasing very highly. And what is the total uh, cases present uh, nowadays in uh, two days and the uh, dates and all this kind of the data is not uh, here with us. So that we need uh, some APIs from that you can take that data and you, you can display, you can use that uh, data for creating our applications. Uh, as you saw, I, I think you saw as uh, so many uh, websites are there uh, which showing the real uh, data on the COVID, how many deaths are there, how many uh, active cases are there, recover cases are there. This kind of the data is uh, comes from the API, which is uh, API means it is just uh, something uh, like the, there is a, some data present online and you have to just fetch, uh, you have to just fetch that data into uh, data in your application to use that data. Okay, this one is the API. So you have to use that API. Uh, uh, yeah, API for creating these types of application, COVID tracker and all. And another one is the database. You guys know about the database, no? Uh, database. Okay. Uh, database is something like uh, where you store the data. You guys learn about the DBMS, relational database, right? You know about this? yeah okay uh, in that uh, you have to you will store the data from the users in the into the tables in the tabular format so that you can uh, retrieve that data you perform lots of query on that uh, and uh, then uh, you will perform some operations like deletion updation and then uh, addition of that creating Uh, like that only. Rahul is saying like some college data and hospital data like this. Yes. Uh, so you guys need to create the app in which you can perform the database operations. Uh, for that, you can use the Firebase. Firebase is something like, like you can uh, store your data online. And another one is the SQLite. Uh, SQLite is similar like SQL. Uh, SQL in that uh, SQL only we can store the data in the tabular format only, right? Yeah, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. So uh, you guys can create that type of the project as well. Uh, so that uh, after that, you have to learn so many things like networking, how to uh, fetch the API, how to take the data from the API, how to how to store the data into the database. And you can uh, you have to create the multiple page application as well. For creating the multiple page application, you need to learn about the intent as well. Okay, we just learn about the basic, very basic of uh, Android development, just how the layout works, how you can take the user inputs and you can perform the functions on that or how to uh, how to make a life to your app. Just only these things we learn about that. But you have to learn about the multiple screens, how we can shift from the one screen to the another screen, bottom navigation as well. And after that, you have to learn about the APIs, how the networking works, and then the database. These are the some functionalities by using you can create a very good project. In that project, uh, you will learn so many things 
for that you need to learn about the firebase and sqlite and uh, whatever the functions are present into the intents and all they, uh, that's are really not uh, easy to learn about that and but you can learn if you are concession then you can learn about that too and uh, you can learn this one uh, in two months uh, max to max and then you can create if you are um, if you know these types of the things already then it's okay but if you don't know then you have to learn about this and then you can create the projects okay is it okay yes ma'am any doubt ma'am for this intensive what kind of project do we have to create yeah uh, we are planning uh, projects like uh, now we saw the calculator like we can create the uh, unit converter app uh, in that uh, you have to create one page home page or uh, on that you can use the images uh, and that images uh, all the units are there like kg to gram and then kilometer to meter uh, kilometer per hour second uh, per hour to the meter per second these types of the conversions would be there so this kind of project uh, will be there in, in in the internship but whatever if you guys feel uh, you, if you guys face any kind of the problems any kind of the queries then you can ask me whenever you want and then uh, these types of the uh, projects will be there first one is a unit converter app second one is the expense tracker third one is a note taking app and uh, this kind of projects will be there not uh, not so hard and not so easy medium kind of project will be there but if you want uh, to modify this app with some networking like you are uh, fetching that data using api and uh, you are creating some functions like uh, uh, sign in sign up in uh, any app for that you need to uh, know about the database as well then you can create that will be added as a plus point in your uh, internship and uh, that can be the turning point as well so that uh, you get goodies and all uh, on that basis as well because as much as you add features according to yourself that would be the good uh, anything else any query um so ma'am will we get like a document or something where yeah, it's yeah. mentioned about yeah, the yeah, project yeah yeah we will share yeah, okay. yeah we will share full documentation of all the projects we will give you five projects in that you can select projects according to the your preference according to the your interest anything and we will uh, give the documentation of that projects means what kind of features would be there what you can add there from where you can learn that from what are the resources from which you can learn that and if you uh, if you face any kind of query then there will be the mentor session as well Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Rahul, Samir, Tanya. Anything else? Any query? okay mm. okay you guys understood what are uh, what you are going to do in your internship now okay okay is this your first internship or uh, you have done before somewhere first okay what about others Second. Okay. Where did you do the first internship, Rahul? Okay. On which domain? In which domain? Machine learning. Okay. 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 Anyone having any kind of query? No. No. Uh, Shall we hand here? Thank you. Yeah, thank you for attending the session. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you, ma'am.